Hey you guys, I am now back from our outing of the day. We just stopped by the Nine Nights store and then we went to Stater Brothers to pick up some stuff. We have a little dinner, just a little small gathering for our Christmas where we're going to start the cooking and everything. We're having just tamales, dressing, macaroni and cheese, and I think chicken. Um, that's pretty much it, and um, we've just been chilling today. Um, this, this, I want to show you guys what I got from the from Stater Brothers and then the Nine Nights store. First, from Stater Brothers, I did give me I did get me some chocolate chip cookies and oatmeal cookies. Yeah, I got a sweet tooth. It needs to stop. Um, then I got me some of this. And I did buy um, a pack of 34 bottles of water. And I got me my favorite wine, Stella Rose Black. It's my favorite of, of all the wines that I've tasted. Stella Rose Black is my favorite. Then I like the Stella Rose Rousseau and then a blueberry kind. But I still think I'm more of a white wine type person. But this is the wine that I've been introduced to. And this is the wine I can handle. And this is the wine I think I'm going to stick with. So, um... From the 99 cent store, I did pick up um, Benadryl's Cousin because I, I'm breaking out right here and nothing is working. I'm using hydrocortisone cream. I'm using my natural cocoa butters and sometimes I'm just leaving it alone, but it's still itch and it kind of gets me up in the middle of the night. I'm, and I'm just scratching all over my neck and all around my chest area and all of that. So I'm going to use some of this tonight to see if that's going to help because that's my last resort. But after that, I don't know what's still breaking me out. I'm just going to have to just deal with it or go buy some eczema from Walgreens or something. And um, this is another thing that I picked up because my mom has gotten me into a lot of oils and my sister has gotten me into candles. I like the woodsy, pinesy type smell. Um, aside from my favorite scents, which is lavender and cinnamon, I like the woodsy smells, pine smells, citrus smells are okay. Um, and like forest, wood, Christmas tree type smells. But my ultimate favorite, favorite scents is cinnamon and lavender. Lavender first and cinnamon because I feel like it helps me kind of go to sleep. So let me go ahead and put these braids into a ponty tail. Okay, let me go and put them in a ponty tail real quick. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair. I don't know what's going on with my braids. This has been my hair lately. There. Now I'm getting me some good flavor. So this is me. Anyway, um. I found this at Walmart. I mean, I found this at the 99 cent store right here. And I was like, are these oils? And mom would say, yeah. And I took one and I'm like, okay. So they have peppermint oil. They also have, um, what's it called? Alchemy. Al, A-L-C-H-E-M-Y. Alchemy or Alchemy, something like that. They have peppermint, they have orange, they have sandalwood and lavender. I'm all for it because I saw the lavender and then that sandalwood. I want to see what that smells like because I like woodsy, foresty pine smells. I just started getting into that since I've been staying here. And I noticed when I go into my mom's room, it smells like, it smells like pine foresty something. And before she had something in her room and it was the scent of old cedar wood or something like that. And it was like A-U-D, I mean O-U-D. Some kind of cedar wood smell. And I know I gotta get the wood um wood wick candles too. I would like to get those too. Um, but yeah, so I got this. My mom did open hers and smell it. She said it's very light though. But that's okay, because I have with all of this peppermint, orange, sandalwood, and lavender, I have some stronger, stronger scent. Of all three of these, I will complement all three of these. All I have to do is mix them a little bit so I can still use some of this. And plus that the, um, I have this, the oil burner thing. It's some kind of oil. You put water in it and then you put your, your drops of whatever scent you want to use in it. And you close it and then you turn it on. Either it can change colors or you just turn it on. A little green light comes on and then the smoke of whatever scent you want your place to smell like comes out of whatever flavor or whatever scent you put in the burner thing, it will um, smell like that in your room. I decided to do that because um, I feel like what, if the scent is strong, like oh, that will calm it down. Because I think the water helps it kind of die down the scents, but you can still smell a strong scent of it. But it's not strong to where it's halfway killing you. Like, oh, it's not like when you pour oil into a burner thing and they put a little candle at the bottom it's not that potent i think the water helps kind of blends out the scents that's why 
the water's in there. I don't know. If I'm sounding mixed up, I do apologize. But um, they do have some oil burners where you can put water in it and you can drip your scent in it. And after that, that's it. I think pretty much the water helps dilute the smell. And you can still smell a strong smell of it. But it's not irritating. It's not killing you. If you have any sinus problems, it doesn't It doesn't do that. Well, I know in, in the room that I'm sleeping in, it doesn't do that. So I did say about this. I bought the, this right here from my nice store. I also got some of this. I saw my sister grabbing this and she said it works. When you get certain medicines and all that from the night I sent store, it works. This one is called Ready in Case and it's called um, Adult Tussin DM. Sugar free cough and chest congestion. And it has that detox. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it has that long word. Y'all got y'all guys can push pause and see what that word is at the bottom. I don't know what that is. But anyway, she said 99 cent store medicine does work. So, um, yeah. And I've used this before when I broke out welts all over my body. Because if you guys go way back a couple years ago to my old video, I did a Valentine's Day massacre video where this guy took me out. We went to El Torito for Valentine's Day. And I had some enchilada soup. And sometimes with food allergies, you can start getting irritated right away like that. <coughs> I noticed I kept going like this. I kept going like this. And it got to the point where it was so irritating. I didn't care how I looked. I wasn't trying to show the guy I was on a date with anything. But I said, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. So I went to the bathroom. I took off my bra, stuffed it in my bag or my purse or whatever. And I, I had welts. It started. I had welts all right here. That's where it started. Big ones, little ones. Then as you know, it started going up, above, over the chest area. Then all on my stomach, all on my back. I had welts everywhere, even inside of my mouth. On my tongue, you can see it. And I felt like I was kind of like, had something in my mouth, but nothing was there. I had it everywhere, even on the bottom of my feet. I had welts everywhere on my body, except for my private areas. It wasn't inside of either my butt or my triangle. None of that stuff. But I had it even on my hands. You can see the little bumps. It almost looked like 3D bumps. It's, it's just so disgusting. And I looked at my arm and I was like, oh my gosh. I told my roommate, I cannot go to improv with you tonight. I am not feeling good at all. So I'm thinking, okay, let me just put some cold water on a towel and place it on my skin. And it kind of felt good. Y'all, I was itching everywhere on my body at the same time. I only have two hands. Ten fingers. Ten fingernails. And I was doing this. All at the same time. And every now and then, it will be okay. I slept with a brush next to me so I could scratch everything. I called off work that night. I was going to work a couple times a week anyway, so I was pretty much off for a week. I told them I called off because I had welts. I had a food allergy. I broke out. Something was going on. And they're like, oh, wow, goodness. Wow. Are you okay? Yeah, so anyway, I went to the 99 cent store. I didn't have Benadryl at the time, but I did have a couple of dollars to get me this. Okay. Took that thing and it worked. I was, oh. huh? Oh, okay. Oh, what's, what? Mm hmm. Knocked out from this. I woke up in the middle of the night and then the next day, them things were disappearing. Them big 3D smashed up bumps. The same thing happened to my oldest sister a while back because she used Lever 2000 and ever since then, mm hmm. So now, inside, that, inside of the enchilada soup, I try not to eat no more zucchini, try not to eat no more squash, because I'm afraid that's going to break me out. I started to like those things. I never did like zucchini or squash at first, but because my ex-boyfriend at the time, he knew how to cook that stuff to make it so, so and to make it taste so good with garlic and stewed tomatoes, whatever he used to do with it. And his friends knew how to cook too. And I was like, geez, ooh, can I come over anyway? So yes, so so far that's what I've been get. That's what I got from the medicine store, and I got this testing stuff right here, cough syrup medicine. I still need to take some, so I think I might take some tonight. But I want that to be the last thing I take in case that causes drowsiness and go to sleep. I kind of like medicine that causes drowsiness because I like to go to sleep. I don't want to deal with the medicine. I don't want to stay up and wait till it works. I want to go to sleep and wake up knowing that it worked. Because I'm not in pain or I'm not in any kind of irritation. I don't have to cough or sore throat. I don't have a cold, stuffy nose, a headache, worry eyes, looking like a leaky eye bastard. I don't, look, look. I don't, I want to feel good. So I like to go to sleep, still sleep it off. And last but not least, 
I was going to wait until tomorrow because that's when the surprise actually gets here. But as I was telling you guys in yesterday's video, my brother-in-law decided, and so did my sister, they decided to let me have my cat over here. So I went to Nana's sister today and I got some of these because they like, these are, these are her snacks. So after she eats her food, I will throw a couple of these snacks on the floor and I'll give these snacks to, um, to her and I have to go back and buy some more because my sister's getting a cat next week as well. And I got five cans of some Friskies. These are treasures. I got five cans of these. And um, I got different ones though, like with shreds and all that. And I gotta find some pate. So tomorrow, if we go to Walmart, um, I'm gonna have to get cat litter. I'm gonna have to get some of that baking soda, Arm & Hammer baking soda, that powder stuff that you use to clean the carpet with, with the ones for pets. And I'm gonna also have to get, um, what else do I need? Dry food and some cat litter. I think I already said that, but yeah. So um, I think I may get a few cans of this because I'm trying to wait till I get paid again so that way I can get like a bigger box so I don't have to worry about it for a while. But this will help me be a little bit more responsible and not spend my money on stupid stuff because I'm still trying to save you guys. It's a bit of a struggle because I ain't been doing it. So, but yeah. So that's pretty much all I bought today. Like I said, I did go to Stater Brothers, bought this bottle of wine of Stella Rosa, which I am going to drink some tonight. And I still got orange juice left and a little bit of vodka. I'm not going to say that until my family gets here, you guys. I'm just going to have a ball, be, you know, just have a ball with my family, okay? I ain't, out sit, I ain't outside acting like a plump fool, none of that stuff. I'm staying indoors with my family, and we're going to laugh. We're going to have fun, chill in our pajamas, have funky booty contests, whatever you want to call it. Who has the funkiest Murphy? Whatever it is, you know, that's what our family does. But anyway, so I don't want to be before you guys too long. I just want to show you guys a little bit of what I bought. Um, that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to go downstairs and probably make me some soup or something. Okay.